In this video, we'll show you all of the options you have for working with your scan results in Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. Regardless of where you are, you can always select Scans from the top navigation menu to view a list of all of the scans that are currently scheduled, running, completed, or even that have failed in your system. You can then drill down into a particular scan to see more detailed information about it. The kind of information that you'll see here really depends on the scan's status. For example, if you click on a scan that's scheduled but hasn't actually started yet, you can just view and edit some basic details, such as which scan configurations will be applied and when the scan will run. For recurring scans, you can also see a list of any previous occurrences of this scan. But you'll mostly be interested in looking at scans that have already finished, so you can start working with the results. As you can see here, the Initial Overview tab gives you a snapshot of key information about the vulnerabilities that have been identified by this scan. In the case of recurring scans, you can also get an idea of whether the number of issues has increased or decreased for this site over time. And just a small tip, if you ever want to include any of these charts in presentations or reports, for example, you can just click this icon here to download them as either a JPEG or PNG. All of the issues found by scans are given both a severity and confidence rating. High severity issues are any vulnerabilities that generally pose a greater security risk. That said, please keep in mind that this is just an approximate guide. The impact of a particular issue can vary quite a lot between different websites and may depend on the type of functionality in which it occurs, so you should always take into account your own knowledge of the application and functionality when trying to determine the severity of an issue that's been found. The confidence level is just a reflection of how confident Burp Scanner is that this vulnerability is actually present. This mainly depends on how Burp Scanner checks for different types of vulnerability. Detecting some vulnerabilities, such as reflected XSS for example, is fairly straightforward, whereas others may rely on techniques that are inherently more prone to false positives. Any issues that have a confidence rating lower than certain will require some level of manual review to confirm. If you go to the Issues tab, you can see all of the issues that have been found by this scan. Or in the case of a scan that's currently running, this will show all of the issues that have been found so far, and these are updated in real time as the scan progresses. You have a few options here for filtering the list based on the severity and confidence levels, and you can also choose to show only new or regressed issues. A new issue is one that was found by the current scan that was not present in any previous scans of this site. A regressed issue is any issue that was found by a previous scan, which initially appeared to have been resolved but has now reappeared in the most recent scan of the site. If you click on any of these issues, you'll see that we provide some basic background information about what exactly the issue is, as well as some general remediation advice to help you fix it. In some cases, there are also links to additional resources where you can read up on the vulnerability in more detail if you're interested. You'll also see some additional tabs that contain evidence that Burp Scanner has found for this issue. These will differ depending on the type of issue that you're looking at. In this case, you can see the HTTP request that was sent, including the proof of concept payload, which is highlighted in red. This is then followed by the response, which shows the same payload being reflected. After closer inspection, you might decide that a particular issue is in fact a false positive, and you can mark it as such by clicking this button here. You're then presented with different options for mass applying the false positive flag to similar issues on the site. In this case, I'll just mark this specific instance as a false positive. If you look at the list of issues on the left here, you can see that this one is now greyed out. False positives will also be excluded from any of the charts that are displayed on the various dashboards. If your administrator has configured a connection to JIRA, you might also have the option to create a JIRA ticket directly from the issue. In that case, there would be an additional button here in the Actions section to allow you to do this. You may also find it useful to look at the Scanned URLs tab. This shows you all of the endpoints that the scan attempted to crawl and audit, and provides information about the issues that were found and any errors that occurred at specific URLs. You can toggle between a basic list view or a hierarchical tree structure. Both the scan and site details tabs should be fairly self-explanatory. One thing to point out is that the site details tab shows the site's configuration at the time of the scan, which might not be the same as the site's current configuration. 
on the reporting and logs tab, you can generate different types of scan report in HTML format. This is especially useful for sharing the results of your scans with colleagues or other stakeholders who might not necessarily have access to Burp Suite Enterprise Edition themselves. If you find that a scan keeps running into problems, it can be helpful to download the scan event log. This might shed some light on why the scan's failing, or at least tell you which phase of the scan is unable to run. Finally, you've got the option to download the scan debug log. This won't be of much use to you directly, but if you ever need to raise a ticket with our support team, they might ask you to provide this. It contains some basic information that we can use to help you with your problem more efficiently. And just to wrap up, I just want to show you that if you drill into a particular site once you've run a few scans on it, you'll notice that some of the tabs that were previously empty are now populated with some useful data. The dashboard shows you some more charts about the security posture of the site, and as the names suggest, the scans and issues tabs show you all of the scans and issues for this particular site. If you've created any folders, you can also select these to see aggregated data about all of the sites within that folder. So depending on how you've decided to organise your folders, this can be really useful for monitoring things like how different teams are getting on with resolving issues, or tracking the security posture of a particular region over time. So that's everything you need to know to get started working with scan results in Burp Suite Enterprise Edition.